Our devotional this morning is entitled Daniel's Life of Temperance. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's meat, nor with wine which he drank. Therefore he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Daniel 1 verse 8 The life of Daniel is an inspired illustration of what constitutes a sanctified character. It presents a lesson for all and especially for the young. A strict compliance with the requirements of God is beneficial to the health of the body and mind. In order to reach the highest standard of moral and intellectual attainments, it is necessary to seek wisdom and strength from God and to observe strict temperance in all the habits of life. In the experience of Daniel and his companions, we have an instance of the triumph of principle over temptation to indulge the appetite. It shows us that through religious principle, young men may triumph over the lusts of the flesh and remain true to God's requirements, even though it costs them a great sacrifice. Daniel was a devoted servant of the Most High. His long life was filled with noble deeds of service for his master. His purity of character and unwavering fidelity are equaled only by his humility of heart and his contrition before God. We repeat. The life of Daniel is an inspired illustration of true sanctification. Wherever they may be, those who are truly sanctified will elevate the moral standards by preserving correct physical habits and, like Daniel, presenting to others an example of temperance and self-denial. With what care should Christians regulate their habits that they may preserve the full vigor of every faculty to give to the service of Christ? He who cherishes the light which God has given him upon health reform has an important aid in the work of becoming sanctified through the truth and fitted for immortality. Taken from My Life Today, page 259. Loving Father, as we go through today, help us to live the life of Daniel, a life of temperance. Help us to purpose in our heart that we will not defile you. Bless us to this end, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.